Everyone needs storage. It doesn't matter who you are. Over time, your files will build up, filling up your computer's drive. Portable SSDs are one solution, but another are SSD enclosures. Whether you're moving drives from one computer to another, or repurposing an older SSD, SSD enclosures can be a really handy data storage device. And DotCase just released one of the tiniest and cutest enclosures I've seen yet. Let's take a look. I've covered plenty of products from DotCase over on the 9to5Mac website, including different drive enclosures, and most recently, a USB-C hub. Across all of their devices, they always have a focus on matching an elegant design with some really handy smart features. Their latest enclosure is no exception. But before I get into this, I want to give the general warning that this is still a Kickstarter. I covered all their other products during the Kickstarter stage too, and they've all been successful, but I wanted to be upfront about that. They're not far into their campaign, and as usual, they've far exceeded their goals. So of all the Kickstarters to back, I'd consider this a pretty safe one. With that out of the way, let's take a look at what they're launching. This minuscule device is an M.2 drive enclosure made specifically for the smallest size 2230 drives. In the box, you get the smart enclosure itself, a really nice braided USB-C cable, and a tiny little screwdriver so you can take off the back and install whatever SSD you want. It's specifically an NVMe enclosure, so it won't work with SATA M.2 drives, and its connection speed is limited to a theoretical maximum of 10 gigabits per second. I've got a small 128 gigabyte SK Hynix drive in there, with seeing write speeds of around 850 megabytes a second, and read speeds of 890 to 900 megabytes a second, which is to be expected. Taking off that heat sink on the back with the screwdriver, you get a look inside. There's not too much to it. You have your 2230 SSD held in with a single screw, you can see that USB-C port, and you have a pretty clean black PCB. And then you have a large purple capacitor. That purple color of the capacitor has become a pretty iconic part of DotCase's design for me, having seen it on their longer M.2 enclosure, as well as their 2.5 inch drive enclosures. It's there to provide a bit of extra power loss protection to the connected drive, to keep it powered just a few seconds longer in the event of an unplanned disconnection, so that anything in the drive's cache can be written to the non-volatile storage. You can get other M.2 enclosures for way cheaper than this, so what makes this really special is its design and built-in smart features. When you plug it in, the 1.3 inch screen on the front will light up and then present you with the home screen. Up at the top, it lists the drive's temperature alongside a small dock case logo. Below that, we have the power loss protection indicator to show if that capacitor has been fully charged up. Below that, you have the specs of whatever SSD you have installed. Here, you can see that I have a 128GB drive, and that it's running with an NVMe Gen 3x2 connection. It also includes the specific model number and brand for the drive. In this case, it's an SK Hynix drive. Next up is the health of the SSD, where it'll show if the SSD is wearing out or nearing the end of its life, as well as listing the total power on hours for the SSD. Finally, at the bottom, it lists the USB connection speed, as well as the amount of data that's been written to or read from the drive since it was last powered on. This screen is really handy, but yet another one pops up automatically when you start transferring data to the drive. This one shows the current amount of data being read from or written to the drive, the amount of data that's been read from or written to the drive this power session, and then finally the total amount of data that's been read from or written to the drive over its entire life. This just automatically pops up as data is being transferred and it's really convenient, but there are other menus you can go to for more specific information. On the side of the unit, there's a small button. Holding that for just a second, SSD info will pop up on the screen, then you can let go to go to that page. Here it lists the drive's full name, serial number, capacity, firmware version, number of unsafe shutdowns, the remaining life of the drive, total power on hours, the number of power cycles, and the total amount of data written to the drive. This smart data that's built into SSDs can be inaccessible with some USB enclosures, and I love that DotCase makes it so easy to see in a moment's notice. The next screen, About Me, 
which you can get to just by holding the button for a bit longer, shows the data of the enclosure itself, including the serial number, manufacturing date, and firmware version. But it also gives you the ability to enable read-only mode, disable power loss protection, adjust the screensaver duration, change the boot image, change your language, and restart the drive. To be honest, I don't really touch the options in here, but I could see read-only mode being incredibly useful in a couple instances. The next screen, I can imagine a bunch of people will just leave open at all times, because it's a system monitor. You get two graphs, one for the temperature of the drive, and another for the input voltage, which should be about 5 volts, but can fluctuate slightly. Starting a disk speed test, you can actually see the voltage drop slightly and become way more variable, while the SSD temperature starts to climb up. If you hold the button even longer though, you can put it into firmware upgrade mode. So whenever a new version of firmware comes out for the enclosure, you can get it updated to get all the latest features. I really love the combination of smart features that DockCase has offered in their hubs and enclosures like this that make them really an eye-catching device to keep on your desk. You can flip around the orientation of the screen so it fits wherever you have it laying with two quick presses of that button so it always looks perfect in your setup. Overall, DockCase's Pocket M.2 Smart Enclosure has earned its place on my desk and in my bag, with its absolutely minuscule size making it an easy addition to my everyday carry. If you want to check out the Pocket M.2 Enclosure or some of DockCase's other products, you can do so through the links down in the video description. It starts out at a super early bird price of $69 for either a matte black or silver enclosure. But once the Kickstarter ends, its MSRP will be $109. Admittedly, that's quite a bit more expensive than other M.2 enclosures, so I'll have some cheaper options linked down below too. But you're unlikely to find one that matches its combination of looks and features. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more from 9to5Mac.